BestBookBits.com brings you the book summary of Magnetic Marketing, How to Attract a Flood of New Customers That Pay, Stay, and Refer by Dan Kennedy. Magnetic marketing is a radical, dramatically different sea change in a way new customers, clients, patients, or prospects are attracted and in the way products, services, businesses, and practices are advertised. It is a change movement that has established itself in over 136 different niches, business categories, industries, and professions, but it is still also a best kept secret. Its practitioners are in a secret society. It, and only it, offers real protection from commoditization, Amazonization, price, and profit destruction. It is soundly based on well-proven strategies dating from the turn of the century to the present. No academic theories, no vague ideas, no fads, no BS. The makings of a system for your business's sustainability and growth you can rely on. It is introduced to you in this important and timely book. You have made a wise decision obtaining it. Bolt to the door, put away the device, and dig in. The book in one sentence. Magnetic marketing is about how to reliably and affordably attract an abundance of your ideal prospects, customers, and clients. The five big ideas. Number one, all the frustrations and internal problems you're experiencing with your business today are because you don't have a good marketing system. Number two, without a sufficient and steady stream of people with whom you can exchange value for money, nothing else about your business matters. Number three, Big name brands have all sorts of reasons for the way they advertise and market that have nothing to do with getting a customer or making sales. Number four, you must make yourself the go-to person, place, or entity for some audience that can be interested in you and your deliverables. And number five, you have to deliver the right message to the right marketing using the right media. Magnetic marketing summary. All the frustrations and internal problems you're experiencing with your business today are because you don't have a good marketing system. Without a sufficient and steady stream of people with whom you can exchange value for money, nothing else about your business matters. The financial reality is that in every profession, every category of business, every sales team, every population, these figures hold true. 1% create tremendous incomes and wealth. 4% do very well. 15% earn good livings. 60% struggle endlessly and 20% fail. Don't jump into the media because everyone else is using it. Big name brands have all sorts of reasons for the way they advertise and market that have zero to do with getting a customer or making sales. The typical entrepreneur and business owner are essentially clueless when it comes to advertising and marketing. This makes them highly vulnerable to becoming what Kennedy calls advertising victims, easy prey for media salespeople and ad agencies and anyone else who doesn't know how to actually close a deal and make a sale. You must make yourself the go-to person, place or entity for some audience that can be interested in you and your deliverables. And the primary way to accomplish this is by crafting an answer to this question. Why should I choose you versus any and every other provider of the same product or service that you provide? There are three questions you can ask yourself to help kickstart the process of finding or creating your unique selling proposition, also known as a USP. Number one, what specifically do you do that's truly different compared to competitors? Number two, how do you uniquely benefit your target market? Three, can you niche your target market in a way nobody else can or will? Take the time to create your own USP. It's one of the greatest marketing weapons you can ever have for your products or your business. Marketing mistakes. Number one, mistake one, marketing to the wrong people. Mistake number two, saying the wrong things. Mistake number three, asking them to do the wrong things. Mistake four, thinking you can advertise anywhere and everywhere. Mistake five, no marketing system. Mistake six, chasing clients. Mistake seven, thinking you have the ad budget of Coca-Cola. Mistake eight, race to the bottom in low price. Mistake nine, there's no follow-up. The only way to avoid marketing to the wrong people is to nail down exactly the who to whom you are selling. Once you know that, it's exactly quite simple to choose which media channels to advertise in. You go where they go. In most cases, most advertising is not directed at any one person. Instead, it's directed at everyone. When you focus on a specific who, 
you're able to hone in on exactly what makes that person tick. You're able to adjust your offers and your messaging in a way that perfectly matches their desires and abilities to fulfill those desires. Knowing that who, inside and out, enables you to craft a compelling emotional message that reaches deep into their hopes, dreams, fears, and pain. At a minimum, you want your marketing system to focus on three key areas. Number one, lead generation. The ongoing acquisition of leads for your business. Number two, conversion. Taking those leads and converting them into paying customers. Number three, retention slash referral. Keeping that customer base intact and generating new leads based on referrals. You can boil direct marketing down to two very basic ideas. Number one, spend a dollar on marketing, get $2 back or $20 fast. That can be accurately tracked back to the initial $1 invested. Number two, do not spend a dollar on any marketing or advertising that does not directly and quickly bring back $2 or $20. There's a story about the legendary copywriter Gary Halbert, who once asked a room of aspiring writers, imagine you're opening a hamburger stand on a beach. What do you need most to succeed? Answers included, secret sauce and great location and quality meat. Halbert replied, you missed the most important thing, a starving crowd. Your job is to find that starving crowd who can't live without what it is you have to offer. What you want to do in terms of targeting is to find good prospective customers for your business that can be reached affordably, that are likely to buy, that are able to buy, and preferably who already know of you and are likely to trust you. There's the old story of a guy walking into the hardware store looking for a 3x4 drill bit. The mistake that's easily made is thinking the customer wants a 3 quarter inch drill bit. Wrong. He wants a three-quarter inch hole. The magnetic marketing triangle has three big building blocks, each of which you can imagine as one side of a triangle. Number one is the message. A truly compelling, preferably irresistible marketing message. Number two, market. High probability target marketing that identifies only those most likely to respond. Number three is media. The most appropriate, effective combination of media used to deliver your message to your market. To determine the psychographics of your target market, ask yourself what keeps them awake at night, staring at the ceiling, unable to fall asleep as it relates to your product or service. What are they frustrated about? What is causing them pain right now as it relates to your product or service? What is the single biggest problem that you can solve for them? What do they secretly, privately desire most? What do you say to your marketplace, to your past, present, and future prospects, clients, and customers that is compelling, that is magnetic, that cannot be ignored, that must be responded to, that draws them to you like a bright porch light on a dark night draws moths? A marketing message is a way of concisely and clearly saying to the right market, here's what I'm about, and here's why you should choose me. If you own, say, a hotel, a common offer might be get 10% of your hotel room rate. A widget, however, ups the ante by tossing in extra element to make it even more attractive, hard to resist, and impossible to compare against competitors. Widgets are packages of service and goods and premiums and experiences bundled together, given a clever name and promoted as a specific one-of-a-kind buying opportunity. An irresistible offer, again, think widget, because that's what you'll be promoting, bundles together a variety of elements price, bonuses, guarantee, speed, security, etc. into something unique and compelling. If the widget you create doesn't cause you to pause and reflect to yourself, am I giving away the farm here for at least a moment, then the offer isn't good enough. When creating your offer widgets in the magnetic marketing system, they are basically three types of offers. Number one, lead generation offers. Number two, consultation offers, direct purchase, or number three, final offers. The 10 foundational rules of direct response marketing. Rule number one, there will always be an offer or offers. Rule number two, there will be a reason to respond right now. Rule number three, you will give clear instructions. Rule number four, there will be tracking, measurement, and accountability. Rule number five, only no cost brand building. And rule number six, there will be follow up. Rule seven, there will be a strong copy. And rule eight, it will look like mail order advertising. Rule number nine, results rule, period. 
And last rule number 10, you will be a tough-minded disciplinarian and put your business on a strict, direct marketing diet. To add urgency, tie the offer to a hard and fast deadline, restrict the offer to a limited number of customers, remove the bonus or gift from the deal. If they don't act right away, add an element of bidding to the deal. Kennedy advises readers to invest in direct response marketing and gratefully accept brand building as a bonus. He writes, never buy brand building and hope for response as a bonus, unless you simply want to spend daddy's fortune at a spite. There are hundreds of variations for follow-up campaigns and strategies blending offline with online. Here are just a few ways you can follow up. Restate, resell, and extend the same offer. Present. Provide a stern or humorous second notice tied to the onrushing deadline. Present. Third and final notice. Tie. Change the offer. Your lead generation magnet has four main jobs. Number one. First is to generate an enhanced response to advertising. Second, to reinforce and strengthen the prospect's unhappiness with the current circumstances and problems he has that you can provide the solution to. Third, to establish both your expertise and empathy. Fourth, positioning so that the prospect is predisposed to accept your recommendations favorably. The way to be very successful in marketing is to do what you do so well that people can't resist telling others about you. Walt Disney. Ask for referrals right after you've done something praiseworthy for your customer. Everybody has a circle of influence in which you could do business if you were properly introduced, but you haven't been. And that's a wrap on this book summary on Magnetic Marketing by Tan Kennedy. Now stop right here. If you want this summary in PDF format, click the link below. Also, we've packaged together 450 of the best book bit summary in one massive PDF, 15 volumes. Click the link below to download this now so you can read offline, online, anywhere you go on your phone, all of the best book summaries. Now, we at Best Book Bits have done over 800 video book summaries, so check us out on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. We're also on Spotify with 800 audio book summaries. And also check out our website, bestbookbits.com, where you'll find over 800 written summaries. We've also got our products and services in the links below, so check that out or go to bestbookbits.com forward slash products. Thanks for watching and listening. Have yourself an amazing day. Go out there, Magnetic Marketing, Dan Kennedy. Take care. Bye-bye now.